Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, the Beamente y Tu y Yo. And today, you guys, I thought I'd talk all about how I'm setting up a bills binder for 2024. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into the video. All right, before we get started, let's talk about the 12 days of Christmas. Remember, we are doing five cents per like for one particular winner, and I will announce that towards the end of this video. To get started with this video, let's go ahead and discuss all about the Bills Binder that I plan on setting up for 2024. Now, this little pink binder I had, and I think I purchased it on Amazon. It's one of those kind of snap clothes one. It's not my favorite, but you know, it'll work. And so um, I've been using it to do my shine and save challenge. If you guys haven't seen these um, videos, I've been actually scratching off and saving. Each one of these shine and saves is supposed to be for a set quarter. So for instance, this is quarter one's money that I'm saving. And then there's quarter two, three, four, and then there's one that's just titled shine. And so that's an extra bonus one, but all together this will save $2,024, okay? So that's gonna stay in this binder. We discussed yesterday about my financial goals, which directly relates to, and I know you guys can't see this because it's so dark, but that directly relates to why I'm setting up these little bill categories. Um, I did set up these particular bill envelopes here in the back of my binder, but I think I'm gonna take these out because I got some matte vellum and I wanted to use that. And also I wanted to have goal amounts on each envelope. So I ended up making myself some new envelopes. Maybe these I'll donate to somebody. I don't know, we'll see. Cause these are really good envelopes. I know people said before when I took the other ones out, they were like, why you just throw them away? Why don't you just gift them to somebody? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were old, you know, <laughs> but these are brand new. So maybe I'll, you know, look into giving these to somebody a set. I mean, they're very specific, AT&T, Water, Georgia Power. If you don't live in Georgia, like you might not even want them. Health insurance, Comcast, mortgage. You guys let me know if you want me to do a giveaway for these. But these are my new guys. I love them. I put goal amounts on here. Um, and most of them, let's talk through them one by one. I do need to hole punch them first. So let me do that while I'm talking to you guys. Each envelope has a set amount. This one is gonna be my water bill. My water bill is about $100 a month, so I'm gonna try in the first half of the year to save $300 towards water. And there's that one. These are so bomb. Okay, and then <laughs> I always liked the matte look of the vellum, and I didn't know how people were getting that, and then I was like, oh, there's actually matte vellum? Like, what? Okay, AT&T, same thing, my three-month goal. I mean, my six month goal is three months worth of bills and that will be $900. Let me put these face down because these are gonna go in this particular order. Lawn care, I also wanna have three months worth of savings by June or July by July. And that's $240 because I pay about $80 a month for lawn care. Next is Xfinity. And you guys know this is for my Comcast. I mean, this is for my Comcast. This is for my internet and cable. And I pay about $200 a month, sometimes a little bit more, $220. But we'll save $600 as the goal. Next, we have Georgia Power. And I'm going to be saving about $125 per month. Now, you guys know Georgia Power in the summer be going ham. But I'm going to try to get to $375 by July. And if it goes over, it goes over. Next is stream, and you guys know this is my gas bill. And so $540 is about $180, because that's my flat rate bill for three months. So we're gonna do 540, hopefully, by July. Okay, I'm just manifesting what I want, okay? Um, my HELOC, which is my home equity line of credit, I have 130 per month, so I'm gonna try to save three months for that as well. Talk about manifesting. I don't even have a car yet, but I'm gonna save for car insurance and I don't I know it's gonna be more than this. Maybe this would be like to buy down the amount that I have monthly, but if I can get to $750 by July, that would be good. And hopefully I haven't had to, you know, haven't bought a car by then. But when I do, I'll have this money to go down. Health insurance, you guys, we have never talked about health insurance since I went back PRN but I do pay health insurance of about $1,000 a month. I've been doing it. Um, I just haven't been speaking about it on this channel. And so yeah, health insurance is a real expense for me. 
Um, I'm saying I want to save about $3,000 by June and continue to pay the $1,000 every month that I've been paying. But if for whatever reason it doesn't work out, I can always go back to working part-time in nursing and that will reduce my healthcare expense. However, PRN, I am getting a higher rate than I would as staff, so it kind of balances out. That's that one. Mortgage. I said I would disclose my mortgage. I never have talked about my mortgage on here. And before we do, let's talk about why I never talked about my mortgage. I never talked about my mortgage because a long time ago, before I even started cash budgeting, I put up a realistic budget all the way through, like working through my budget. And it was the honest numbers. It was maybe at least four years ago. Um, and when I posted that video, people were so stumped by the fact that my mortgage is $800. And um, that's how much my mortgage is. Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> I bought my house as a foreclosure in 09 when the market was really just at its lowest low. My house is worth more than three times the amount that I purchased it for, and I've paid off over half of the mortgage that I had, okay? Um, this includes my taxes in my mortgage payment of $800. So you already know, like, and I have a four-bedroom, two-bath, 2,300 square foot home. So yeah, I mean... I got a steal of a deal at a time when I really was manifesting buying a house. It happened to be the market turned and it was the right time for me to do it. Um, but what happened when I posted that realistic budget with me before I started cash budgeting, I think at the time I was doing like law of attraction or weight loss content. And I posted a video talking about what my realistic bills were. And people were in the comment section like, who has a mortgage of 800? And this was like four years ago. They're like, who has a mortgage of 800? Like, that's so unrealistic. Those numbers can't be true. Like, what? Okay. Well, I don't want people to get stumped by learning how to budget from me on based on my numbers. Again, I said it before, even in my goals video, that my goals are my goals, yours are yours. In the same way, my budget is my budget, yours is yours, right? So you might have a higher mortgage, you might have a higher rent, you might have you know, not all of these bills that I have. You might not pay for health insurance. You might not need to put your daughter through college, you know, but you could just see the way that I lay it out and be an inspiration for you to lay out yours the way you need to, right? You might have a car payment. I don't, you know, I'm putting a kid through college though and paying for housing for her, you know, like we all have different things that we're doing. It's the method I wanted people to focus on. And I feel like when I posted about my mortgage in that video years ago, people focused on the fact that I had an $800 mortgage and they couldn't get around that to even see that I was offering some benefits in just learning how to budget and get on top of your money. Now I feel like you guys get me. You know what I'm saying? If I say this is what it is, you believe me that this is what it is. This is what it is. But more importantly than this being what it is, you also understand I am just like inspiration for you to be on top of your game, not necessarily being in line with my game. Okay. We're two different people. So uh, I'm trying to save at least three months worth of mortgage by June, which will be $2,400. Roth IRA. We talked about this in my goals video. And I said I wanted to save a total of $540, no, $590 per month so I can get to the $7,000 goal by the end of the year. So this will be that 590 times six, okay? I decided to go ahead and do my Roth IRA times six months because I'm gonna be saving every single month in this envelope. And hopefully at the end of six months, we can roll it on over to a Roth IRA. And finally, emergency fund, same deal. In order for me to get to my goal of $10,000 saved, I'm referencing my little cheat sheet. I need $840 a month to go towards this. And so in order for that to happen, that will be $5,040. That sounds like the 100 envelope challenge is about to get started, don't it? Right, okay, so that's $540. The 100 envelope challenge would save me 5,050, but it's pretty similar. And that is all of my bills envelopes. Look how beautiful these envelopes are, you guys. Oh, I love. Um, but I've been looking at a lot of people who have matte envelopes, matte vellum envelopes. And I was like, how are they doing that? And they're literally using matte paper, matte vellum, no, matte laminate paper. So if for any reason you guys want a tutorial on that, let me know. And I will show you how I made these. They're super simple to make if you know anything about um making envelopes, or if you don't, I think you still could pull it off. This is my financial goals tracker that we talked about in yesterday's video. And I'm still gonna work on my shine, shine and shade, I can't get it out. 
And I'm still going to work on Shine and Save because when I get done with this quarter one money, I'm going to keep going, keep going. And any categories that I haven't fulfilled for the end of the six months through quarter two, then I'll take this money out of here and reallocate it towards the bills. You know, this is just an extra way to save. I will be doing some savings challenges to get to some of these categories as well. Um, if I'm doing a savings challenge for the month, you can expect at the end of the month that I'll be rolling it over here to the bills binder. But I also here and there want to stuff some money in the bills binder. So you'll be hearing a lot more about bills, 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 bills. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that is it. As far as my bills binder, let me know if you have any questions or, you know, any concerns. I'm open. Just go ahead and comment it down below. We are now going to pick the winner of yesterday's video. And for today's video, I never discussed the prize. We give away two prizes, one being a pig, a piggy bank like this one. Because um, I have a couple of these that I'm going to be giving away throughout the 12 days of giveaway. So a pig will be one of the gifts. And the other one will be a $25 gift card. So yeah. In order to have your chance at winning the pig or the $25 gift card, comment the secret hashtag that was embedded somewhere throughout this video and to come back tomorrow because I'll be picking the winners. Now, if you don't reach out to me, then you will forfeit your prize. I do have some prizes to get out at this time from the first few days of Vlogmas. Don't worry, I'm going to get on them. You guys have just been busy, but I see your emails. I see your Instagram messages. I'm going to be replying to people very soon. For today, though, we need to pick a winner from yesterday's video. So let's go ahead and get right into that. So first things first, we need to go here to the Etsy budget and cash stuff Vlogmas day four video. And we need to look and see how many likes we actually have. 717. So let's see. I think that's 71 divided by two, but let's see. 717 times 0 0.05. $36 is what we're going to do. That'll be a $36 prize for whoever it is that wins from this. In order to pick the winner, we're going to click on TubeBuddy and then scroll all the way down to pick a winner. The hashtag for yesterday, if you were here, was hashtag Penny. And that's how we're going to pick the winner for the $36. Now let's see who that's going to be. That's going to be KKC Budgets. Hey girl, hey. I talk to her all the time on Instagram. Okay, and here on YouTube. She said, hey, happy Friday, hashtag Penny. All right, KC. Well, you won $36. Please reach out to me on Instagram and I'll make sure I get your gift card over to you in whatever form you want. Um, and yeah, congrats. All right, you guys. I think that is everything for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. Let me know what you think about the bills binder down below in the comments. Even if I don't reply back to all of you, I really have been reading all the messages. It has been so, so, so busy with Vlogmas here and Vlogmas on my other channel and then trying to just catch up on Christmas, y'all. I'm super behind. I'm trying to make it all happen, okay? Uh, <laughs> and then don't forget, like this video because it helps it to be suggested to other people who might need the inspiration on how to set up a bills binder. And finally, share this video with someone if you think they would benefit. All right. I think that is everything for this video. I appreciate you guys for being here and I will see you next time when we pick two winners, one for the pig and one for a $25 gift card in tomorrow's video. See you then. Take care.